Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney. Um, in today's video, I just wanted to give you guys a quick sewing room tour, sewing space tour. Because um, I have moved my sewing table. I was over in my living room in the corner, but now I'm in my kitchen slash dining room. Um, so I moved all of my sewing stuff to our dining room table since we don't ever utilize it. Um, so I like this setup quite nicely. It fits my brother sewing machine, my printer for printing patterns, and my new serger that I got the other day. I'm going to make a separate video on the serger, kind of going over all of that. Um, so yeah, that's super exciting. Anyways, um, I'll just kind of give you guys the quick tour of my new sewing space and how I am making it work for me. So I'm going to pick you up. <laughs> Meet my dog. This is Rosie. Anyways, so that's my dining room table. Um, I still kept the table cover because it's washable. Very easy to clean and maintain. And then coming over here, um, I utilized an old bookshelf that I was not using anymore. And right now it just has my printer paper, some little cloth bins for storage. That box right there is the box of serger thread that I got with the machine when I bought it off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, and then I have three packages of polyfill because I'm going to be making some more, um, boppy pillows. So, then coming over here, there's my calendar. Um, I turned an old shower caddy into storage for my sewing supplies. Um, so... I figured it's just been sitting on a shelf for way too long and I wanted to use it for something else. So I turned it into a sewing caddy. It holds my manuals for my sewing machines. It holds my power cords for my serger and my sewing machine. Um, my tweezers for the serger, pins, measuring tapes, uh, my clear ruler, and my scissors and a zipper. Um, so just things that I would need quickly on hand. That way I don't have to go digging for them. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Anyways, I'll go ahead and take you to where I... Oh, and back here, um, I keep my craft paper, I guess you would call it. Um, I use this brown paper I got from the Dollar Tree to um, draft patterns with because it's cheaper than buying the uh, pattern paper. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where I now store all of my massive amounts of fabric. So hold on, I'll show you. Okay, so um, there's my dining room table, and I went ahead and just stored all of my sewing supplies under my table. So I got this um, three-tier bin from Walmart, and it came with wheels, so that was super nice. I can just roll it around under my kitchen table, and then on the other side of that to the left... I've got a laundry basket that I got from the Dollar Tree and I went ahead and just bought some of their ribbon and strung it through the um, edges for decoration and then I've got more fabric over there. So that's going to be all my projects. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to pop on here and show you guys the quick um, new sewing space that I have. Um, and so far it has worked out amazingly because I have so much more room to lay out my fabric, lay out my patterns, 
cut things and it just makes it a lot more comfortable to sew in this space. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. And if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. Um, like and subscribe if you'd like to. And I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.